Hey everyone and welcome to another Medal of Honor Monday. It is day 104 of 166 of the uh, Medal of Honor t-shirt challenge. Uh, so we got over day 100, uh, which was pretty good. Uh, we, we, we did a shark week, which is a lot of fun, which uh, ev seemed like everybody enjoyed. Uh, not only uh, did we have shark week and of course day 100, uh, we also had Medal of Honor at Gamescom. Which, uh, of course, you know, they, they received a very warm welcome, and they revealed some pretty cool stuff. Uh, this uh, this time around, they uh, revealed the uh, Fire Team multi... Uh, well, the Fire Team uh, trailer, pretty much multiplayer trailer, uh, where, of course, it's focusing on the two-man squad, your fi you and your Fire Team buddy. And uh, it had the, the... When the intro came out, and it was kind of cycling through the different countries of what they looked like, I, you know, thought that was pretty cool. Uh, I mean, the trailer in itself was pretty awesome. It, you know, it, it got us uh, a little more insight to what, you know, the, the units are going to look like, how they're going to react, uh, the weapons that they're going to use, and, you know, of course, you know, the importance of playing with your fire team buddy. Uh, it, it seems like that's going to be one thing that they are going to central uh, the multiplayer around, which I mean, which is completely fine with me. I love it. Uh, I love the fact that they are bringing this system into Medal of Honor. Uh, it's really going to, you know, bring the first-person genre up to date, and you know, kind of add something that no one else has added. Uh, of course, with Battlefield, you have your your four-team squad, but they, I mean, this one is this is specifically it's you and a buddy. Uh, you know, you, you're going to be teamed up with them, and uh, you know, of course, you're going to be able to reap the benefits of him killing, you know, someone who killed you, or if you kill, you know, the guy who killed your buddy. Uh, another cool thing about the trailer is, of course, the hatchet kills. Uh, that was by far probably the best thing that I saw uh, was the animation for the hatchet killing. I mean, it, it looks like I mean you you get up to them and you just tear them apart, and that's and that's I mean that that's just freaking awesome. I mean I can't stress how awesome that is. And also, I mean, if you guys were paying attention to their Twitter feed and everything, uh, if you watched uh, the Gamescom uh, origin videos where uh, one letter was, was you know, he was, of course, interviewing uh, Ian Reed, Kevin O'Leary. Uh, he was on there talking about the Grom, uh, the Polish uh, Spec Ops team that he uh, was able to uh, spend some time with. And, of course, he did, you know, he dipped into the the fire team trailer as well. Um, there's a scene in the fire team trailer, of course, where there, there's like a little bathroom scene. Uh, I guess that they kind of worked on, where uh, you had, um, I believe it was Kevin O'Leary that was playing. Uh, he ran in and killed uh, Season, one of the community managers, and another guy. So I mean, it, they, they of course they just had like little fun things in there that I thought were pretty cool, and. Um, another thing that they also revealed at Gamescom was the new multiplayer trailer mode, Hotspot. Now, the cool thing about Hotspot is that it actually, it kind of plays off of the single player. It plays kind of off of the story mode, because in the story mode, um, you're kind of on a global hunt for the PETN, and... Uh, they carry that a little bit over to the hotspot mode where there's five PETN caches and they're spread out around the level and pretty much the first team that successfully attacks the fins, three of them will win and from the looks of it and from what they have on their blog on their website it 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 looks like it's going to be a lot of fun because it looks like these caches are going to just kind of appear in random places. I don't know if there's, you know, if it's 
if they're going to have a set location every time, but it looks like they're just kind of scrambled out throughout the map and you've got to do your best to, you know, attack or defend it. So that is going to be interesting. I've, I'm definitely going to be able to, well, not, well, not be able to, I'm definitely going to check that out, you know, whenever it's available to us. And of course, uh, you know, you've got all, all the different classes you can try out as well. And the map that they showed was uh, Sarajevo Stadium, which I mean, it, it pretty much I mean, like you're looks like you're I mean, you you are in, you know, the the sports arena. So it's definitely gonna be interesting to see, you know, of course, that map and play in it, and see what you know, covers offered, uh, you know, how much you know, night the night map is going to affect. Uh, the gameplay and hotspot. So I mean that's that's kind of uh, you know what they what they revealed at Gamescom. They had a lot of people go out and play it. Of course, I mean uh, they had it set up throughout, and they got a really really um, you know warm welcome. They got really good reviews and everything on it. So I'm really hoping that. Uh, you know that that hotspot is definitely going to be a fun game to play with, a uh, game mode to play in, and um, you know of course we'll see here in the next few months. Um, so this this next next few months, I mean they're, I think they're going to reveal, of course they're going to re reveal a little more uh, of the single player. I'd like to see some more single player action come out. Uh, we'll see some more multiplayer games for gameplay, of course. Um, there's still no word on a beta, but if we are expecting a beta, I would say that it's probably going to show up within, I'd say, a month. Uh, so that way, I mean, there's at least a good month of gameplay in the beta, so that way they can, uh, you know, polish it out just a little bit more. Uh, so that way it's, you know, nice and neat before uh, October 23rd rolls around. And I mean, it's, uh, you know, I'm really excited, of course. I mean, this guy right here that I killed is really excited. He's waving his arm, uh, as you can see there. Um, so, I mean, that, that's that's really it for, you know, I mean, this week. Uh, there was a lot of, of course, a lot of games calm. I wasn't the, I'm not the only one who's talking about it. Uh, but of course, before this actually wraps up, I do want to give a shout out to one of my Twitter followers who was at games Gamescom. Uh, who was able to grab me one of those sweet Medal of Honor Gamescom shirts. Um, so, Assimilator, uh, you know, thanks for letting me, well, not thanks for letting me, but thanks for grabbing that for me, and thanks for sending it to me. I'm um, definitely going to be waiting for it in the mail. And also, I have to thank Season for letting him, uh, you know, grab one for me. He, you know, he let Season know, he's like, hey, Pretty much went up to him and was like, hey, can you know, can I send one to Dusty as well? I want to support his t-shirt challenge. So we let him. And so um, I'll be seeing that hopefully soon. And I'll definitely I'll put a simulator's Twitter down there so you guys can definitely follow him. AC, he's a really, really nice guy. Uh, you know, definitely supporting me. Uh, you know, I, I really, really appreciate the support that everyone has given me throughout this challenge. And uh, that wraps it up for this week. So if you guys have any questions or anything, please put them down in the comments below, or you can tweet me or send me a message on Facebook or something. I definitely would love to get the community more involved in this and also get the community involved more in my t-shirt challenge, you know, suggestion, like picture ideas and what I can do. So we will definitely see you guys next time.